some yards to work. Duck arrived with a train of empty freight cars. George was blocking his way, and a car was stuck on the main line. Let me through, demanded Duck. You'll just have to wait, replied George. There's no time to wait. I must clear my freight cars from the main line to let Gordon through. Then he'll have to wait too, said George. Duck's driver went to complain to the station master, but the signalman had set the signal to allow Gordon to speed through. His passengers were singing his praises, and he was making express time. I'm the greatest. Just watch me fly by. He whistled long and loud as he approached the station. Suddenly, he saw a freight car on the line ahead. Get out of my way! But the freight car wouldn't move until Gordon forced it. By accident. Gordon was worried that Sir Topham Hatt would be cross. He was, but not with Gordon. Whoever caused this disturbance will have me to answer to. And he did, a few days later. Look who's here, said Thomas. George had been found out by Sir Topham Hatt and punished. He looked miserable. Now we'll get some peace at last, said Percy. I want to get rolling again, but I've got to wait a whole week till I do. And then you'll be just as rude as ever. Eh, George? I hope not. Don't you?